This is Andy Tech from Check New Tech, and it is my favorite time of year. I know you subscribers know what I'm talking about. March Madness 2023. So let's get started with those bracket picks. Let's get this show on the road. Alabama and Texas A&M Corpus Christi. I've got Alabama. I don't really have to look at too much. I know they had a playing game, but not impressed. Uh, I think Alabama has been amazing this year. You've got Maryland and West Virginia. I haven't seen a lot of West Virginia, so I'm going to look at their record. I know they're in a tough Big 12, but I'm going to take a Big 10 team over this because I think the Big 10's got one of the toughest conferences this year. Look at their out-of-conference schedule. San Diego State and Charleston. This is tough. I actually think this will be the first upset that I picked, the 12-5 upset. Charleston's had a really nice record. Granted, they play in a really, you know, I wouldn't say like a K-conference, but we call those K-conferences, non-power five. Now we've got Virginia and Furman. This, without a doubt, I'm picking Virginia, Creighton, and NC State. So it's a little hard for me. I, I feel like Creighton makes a run every year. Um, although this year I'm picking another upset here, NC State over Creighton. Baylor and Santa Barbara, UCSB. Santa Barbara has a has a little bit of a better record, but I mean, let's see, let's give give it up. Baylor's played ten top twenty five games already, so I've got I think Baylor's got a lot more experience to go through with this one. Mizzou and Utah State. I haven't seen a lot of Utah State. I have seen a few Mizzou games this year. I'm gonna go off of the fact that their top twenty five records zero and two. We're gonna go ahead and advance Mizzou here. Arizona and Princeton. I've got Arizona. Easy pick there. Let's start. Let's go into the right side with the Midwest. Houston advancing easily. Iowa and Auburn. This is a tie-up. They both have uh, played some pretty impressive games, and they've had some disappointing losses. I have a feeling Auburn's actually going to win this one. And then we've got Miami and Drake. I haven't seen a lot of Drake, but I know Miami's conference tougher and they have the same record. So there we go. By default, this will not be a 12-5 upset. Indiana has played. They've got some great players. Trace Jackson Davis. Need I say more? Iowa State and Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh just had a playing game. I think they're going to be a little bit tired. And Iowa State's got a, a much better record on the top 25 portion. So Iowa State's going to take this one. Xavier advances over Kennesaw State. Texas A&M and Penn State. Yeah, Penn State made a deep run in that tournament. But I feel like Texas A&M is going to have a little bit of an edge over here. They might be tired. Um, let's go with Texas over Colgate. And that is my Midwest region. Now we're going to move down to the first round on the East region. Purdue over either play-in team. Memphis and FAU. I'm going to go with... Memphis on this one. Memphis actually had an amazing ACC championship So um, in the ACC tournament. Duke and Oral Roberts. This can be a 12-5 upset. I think this will actually come down to the wire. And it's not because of the Oral Roberts team two years ago. I actually think this Oral Roberts team can play. They can ball. They have won, I don't know, 18 straight or something. But I just don't think this is going to be an upset because Jonathan Shires prepared for this one. Louisiana and Tennessee, this will not be an upset. Tennessee advances easily. I like that 4-5 matchup already. Kentucky and Providence. You know what? I think the Friars may be able to make a, a very, very challenging game for Kentucky, but... I just don't know if that's going to be enough because their conference is a little bit easier. I just don't want to pick because their conference is easier, but I think the Friars may upset Kentucky. So that, that'll be another upset there. Kansas State over Montana State. Michigan State and USC. I think Michigan State is way overranked in this tournament. They haven't played well this year, so USC takes this one. Marquette over Vermont. No sweat there. Kansas and Howard. Arkansas and Illinois, this is the most evenly matched team in the entire tournament. This will come down to the last second. You pick them. I'm going to go with Illinois. St. Mary's and VCU. 
I think I'm gonna have they both are not I actually think VCU is gonna upset St. Mary's here. I think St. Mary's a little bit overranked for uh, this tournament, overseeded. And UConn and Iona. I know Iona is capable of making some runs, but we're gonna go with UConn here. TCU and ASU Nevada. I think TCU will take this one. And Gonzaga will beat Grand Canyon easily. Northwestern and Boise State. I'm going to have to take a look at that one. Northwestern has played some impressive basketball this year. And when you look at their their record against top 25, 4-1, I think that I'd have to give the edge to Northwestern here. I think Boise State is uh, a little bit too high seeded for that 10 seed right there. UCLA and UNC Asheville. UCLA easily. They are playing amazing right now. Now we're going to go back to the second round of the South region. Uh, Alabama and Maryland. Maryland is capable of those upsets, but not this time around. Virginia and Charleston. I think Virginia is going to have a heyday on this one. Baylor and NC State. Again, I actually I don't know about this one. I think NC State is playing really well, and this could actually be a second round upset. Mizzou and Arizona. I think Arizona is going to take this one. So no major surprises except that Baylor, NC State right there. Now we're going to go to the Midwest region, Houston and Auburn. I think Houston will take this one. And then we've got Indiana and Miami. I think both of these teams are playing fairly well. However, I'm going to give the edge to Miami. Xavier and Iowa State. I'm going to go with, I'm going to have to check the records one more time. I think... Iowa State's actually going to take this one because they have more top 25 wins. The Big 12 is a tough conference this year. You haven't seen their games. And Texas A&M and Texas. All right. Now they're going to uh, meet again. Here I'm going to have to give the edge to, well, this is going to be a tough one. I'm going to go with Texas A&M on this one. They're going to upset Texas. And now we've got a few upsets there. So that region is going to look pretty interesting. Purdue and Memphis. Now we're going to move to the East. I think Purdue takes this one. No one could stop Zach Eady this year. No one. Uh, I've seen a lot of games. Tennessee and Duke. I think this will be a this will be a slugfest. Duke will eventually get the best of them. Kansas State and Providence. I think Providence looks pretty poised. I think this will come down to the last second, but I think Kansas State has the edge over here and Marquette. And USC, I have to look at their records again. Um, I think oh, when it comes to the top 25 wins, I'm going to give the edge to Marquette. Kansas and Illinois, every year Illinois tends to disappoint me in the second round. But I think given that Bill Self has coached Illinois and there's going to this will be kind of a revenge game for them, Illinois will upset Kansas. Don't know how deep they're going to make it, so let's see what their matchup's going to be. It'll be VCU versus UConn. I'm actually going to give the edge to VCU here, so there's going to be a 12 seed right there. Gonzaga and TCU, I'm thinking at this point, Gonzaga can definitely make it to the Elite Eight. Uh, sorry, the Sweet 16, not the Elite Eight there. Um, and now we've got Northwestern and UCLA. This will be a tough matchup, but ultimately... I'm going to give the edge to Northwestern. Yes, they're going to make it through the second round, so that'll be interesting. So we've got a lot of Big Ten teams in there. Uh, we've got some SEC teams. Uh, let's go back to the South region for the third, for the Sweet 16. What's going to happen when Alabama plays Virginia? Wow, this is going to be really tough. Alabama's playing really well this year. It's gonna it's so hard for me to assume that they're going to that Virginia is gonna upset them. But Virginia is a great team too. Uh, their ranking is not nearly as high. Conference record. Alabama's just been playing well. I'm gonna have to say that there might not be any major surprise here unless NC State upsets Arizona. Don't think that's going to happen. I think this is where it all ends for them. Now let's go to the Midwest region, Houston and Miami. I think Houston is definitely capable of beating Miami, and they can easily do so. However, Miami has more experience with top 25 teams, and that's what's going to show in this game. Uh, Iowa State and Texas A&M. You know, this is going to be an interesting matchup, but ultimately I think Texas A&M is going to pull it off here. 
Let's see how Purdue and Duke fare against each other. Actually, I'm just going to give the edge to Zach Eady. I haven't seen anyone really stop him. I've seen them lose a few games in the Big Ten, but other than that, Marquette and Kansas State. Let's see how that looks. Marquette looks like they can beat Kansas State, but I ha and I have a feeling they'll do it. I think Marquette's going to make a deep run this year. Just have a feeling. I don't know why I have a feeling. Now we're looking at that West region because of all those upsets. Illinois actually can get the easy win over VCU here. Northwestern and Gonzaga. Oh, gosh. I don't know how this one's going to fare out. Gonzaga, they can definitely make it to the Elite Eight this year, and I think this is where Northwestern's journey ends. So there will not be a Big Ten matchup, Big Ten versus Big Ten matchup for that uh, so Elite Eight. Now we're going to go to the Final Four. Sorry, I was thinking about which round I was in. Alabama versus Arizona. This is going to be an interesting matchup, and ultimately Arizona will prevail here. They're looking good this year. Now we've got Purdue versus Marquette. This will be an interesting matchup. Again, I give the, I'll give the nod to Zach Eady. I just don't see it. Now we've got a five versus seven, so this is a crazy region in the Midwest. I know I have to pick some upsets, otherwise it's not March Madness. But I'm going to give the nod to Miami. I think Miami's playing some pretty good ball. Gonzaga versus Illinois breaks my heart that maybe Illinois won't be able to pull this off. They've had some great wins, but they're not a very consistent team, so Gonzaga makes it here. Now we've got Purdue and Arizona. You'll still give the nod to Purdue. Like I said, no one can stop Zach Eady versus Gonzaga. And this year, we are going to have a Big Ten champion. That is Purdue. And the tiebreaker will be the final score. I'm going to give it to be, I'm going to give it 74 to 68. And that will be the final pick that I have. Purdue is your champion for the 2023 bracket pick. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and watching my bracket. I know there's a lot of upsets in mine. Let me know who your upset and sleeper picks are and who your Cinderella team is. Now that you've seen my bracket, what do you guys think? Too many upset alerts? Too few? Crazy trips to the Final Four? Nothing close to your bracket? Well, that's the fun of it. It is madness, guys. March Madness 2023 kicks off tomorrow at 11 a.m. I can't wait for it. I hope you can either. Let me know in the comment section what you think of my bracket and how it fares against yours. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button below if you enjoy watching these videos. This is Andy Tech signing off. Check